show you something. Titus 2 and 2. Because the women, they have to teach. That, that's what you're getting at. Because guess what? I can't teach you. I can't teach my daughter how to be a woman, can I? No. No. But I can teach my wife what I want my daughter to learn, correct? Right. So the women, they do have a form of teaching that they have to do. I think he was getting to it, but I wanted you to get it. Yeah. They are back at the school. We have children there. The wife has to teach the children while the husband's out there providing. But the husband, he's the one that's setting the stuff in order. R read that. Come on. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. Come on. He age women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Come on. Not for accusers. Read. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. But they have to know what to be taught. This Bible is taught to the sisters by the men. The women teach the children. Give me that Maccabees where it said endure the, we're going to come back there, but I want that in Maccabees. Where it said enduring the pains of education? Second Maccabees. I think it's, uh, yeah, Second Maccabees 7. Because guess what? That y'all, women have a very important job because you have to figure out, let's say you have six children. You, you know exactly how this child learns, what his learning style is. The man's out working, he's out building, prophesying. But guess what? You have that, that important, that's a very important job, taking care of the legacy at home. You got that? Read that. What's that? 727. 2 Maccabees chapter 7 verse 27. Come on. But she, bowing herself toward him. You didn't hear that? It said, but she. This is the, 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 the woman. Read. But she, bowing herself toward him. Come on. Laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn. Because this is a tyrant. He was, as usual, they were destroying the Israelites. But she understood her important role that she had because her sons were delivered up to be to be uh, to be killed. But she this is what she did. Read, come on. Speak in her country language Read. on this matter. Come on. Oh my son, have pity upon thee that bear thee nine months in my womb. So she said, I carried you for nine months. She's let she's letting the tyrant know I bear these shit, I carried them. But watch out, come on. And gave thee suck. And then she fed him, read, come on. Three years and nourish thee. Come on. And brought thee up unto this age. Read. And endure the troubles of education. So she endured the troubles of and it's not it's not easy. I wanna, I wanna, that was Corinthians 34. Yeah, first 14, Corinthians. 14. Uh-huh. 14. I mean, what, what is the address of where y'all It's it's five thousand old gentilly road. And what are the hours? We have three services today. We have uh, one in the morning. We uh, open doors at 11. And then we have one you can come. What, what times? 11? 11, 11 to 3. Five. And you got the evening class 3 until it ends. Until yes, ma'am. Well, we Yes, but there we have dress codes. Okay. The women they wear. Let me show you. Give me Deuteronomy 22. Because uh, we do everything based upon what the Bible says. Yeah, I read that. I, the, okay. I grew up, grew up with the Bible. Okay, you grew up with the Bible? All right, so yeah. they, the women, they, they dress modestly because we do things in order. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Well, the woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. Because Big Daddy, i never seen Big Daddy wear pants. I wear a dress. Yeah. My crime for Big right. uh, No. Yeah. But Big Mama gave a Big Mama hat on. Big Mama wore a dress. Yeah. It wasn't until Emily Bloomer came out and they had that feminist movement and then women started wearing pants because they started working in the warehouses because of women's rights and that destroyed the black community because now women want to be out front and lead men and now you got the men in the back being afraid to be men. That destroys the community. That that, that kills the production and, and notice too. Uh, finish that. I'm going to show you one more. Uh, she, she'll be fine. Come on, finish up. Neither shall a man Put on a woman's garment. So we ain't supposed to wear dresses either. We're not supposed to do that. But if you look at her today, look at how these young girls are dressed. You see that? But what we went over in Titus 2, it said, let the aged women. You got to you gotta get this right so you can get on tell them. They'll listen to Big Mom. They'll listen to you. You own to be Big Mom. Yeah, well, see, when I, um, I was baptized, I was under, um, oh, God, I had a little bit of a Pentecost. Oh, Pentecost? Yeah. The, the day of Pentecost is coming up. The Bible talks yeah. about that. It's not about that's a that's a religion that they took yeah. and made up. It's false. Yeah, but but there's a day, day of Pentecost. It's yeah. Acts chapter two. Yeah, we know exactly where it's at. Yeah. But call if you have questions, call that number on there. We have a phone number. Call that number and call that extension. It'll get to one of us. Somebody else on the phone. I'm trying to see if I can make it to me. You can't. 
if you if you gotta come like that right now, we if you gotta come like that, we have dresses. We'll get the sisters to come outside and they'll get your dress and they'll get your head covered. It, we, but it's called First Corinthians fourteen and forty. The Bible says, "Let all things be done decently and in order." So we're gonna follow God because when we're in the midst of sin, it affects all of us. Read that real quick. First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse forty. Let all things be done decently and in order. We do things in order. Like once you come in, you put your dress on, you put your hair up on, you come around the sisters, and it's, it's gonna take you some time. I gotta take this wig off. You can you can cover your head up because your head's gonna be covered. But you wanna take your wig? Yeah, you can take that wig off. We call it a hat hair hooligan. It's hat hair. That's hat. It's a hat hair. And yo, unnatural hair. Look, yeah, look at Christ hair. I like wool. Why cover it up? Right. Why hide that wool that Christ gave you? That's like you trying to hide the light of the commandments in a dark spot. It's gonna shine. That's why they sell you that hat hair, because they, 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 they know that your hair is better than everybody's on the face of the earth. Right. We were made in the image of that right there, Christ. That's why everybody darken their skin. They want you to straighten your hair. And they want you, they want, they, do you really look at how they degrade our women to put, hat, put hair on it? Put, take some raccoon behind and put on your head. <laughs> put these big long ass eyelashes on. Our women are the best looking on the face, so they don't need that garbage. Big long ass fingernails for what? Why? Why? Look at that one right there with the dog mom. Right. One right there with damn long fingernails on. Cumbrella stuck to her face. Hot garbage. We ain't supposed to roll that way. But come to the school. We'll get you right. Come on out there, sis. Come on for three. We'll be waiting on you. Okay, I will. I will be there. Okay. Belinda, we'll be, we'll be bring you some identification. We'll be waiting okay, on you. Sure. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth